I am going to demonstrate a natural language processing application called ELISA. ELISA was written at MIT by Joseph Weizenbaum in the mid 60s. She's built into a Unix application called Emacs. So all we need to do is fire up terminal, go to the command prompt, type in Emacs, and then that will take us to the application. We want to enter into the command mode, so shift escape. And what we're wanting to do is talk to the doctor. So we need to invoke the doctor with X doctor. I am the psychotherapist. Please describe your problems. Each time you are finished talking, type return twice. And I've created a script to make my input efficient so I don't have to manually type everything. Just say hello real quick. How do you do? What brings you to see me? Now I'll introduce myself. Why do you say your name is Christopher? You are smart. Is it because you have an IQ that is off the charts that you came to see me? Maybe you should consult a medical doctor. I am a psychotherapist. One of the things that you'll notice with Eliza is that she relies on pattern recognition. So if you give her the same style input, Perhaps you should consult a medical doctor. I am a psychotherapist. She will often give the exact same output. Does it bother you that you are smarter than they are? Eliza is a class of applications called a chatterbot. And the idea behind this was that if you could make a chatterbot that people could interact with, and they didn't even know if they were interacting with a computer, that they believed that it was a human being on the other end, that the idea would be that if you couldn't tell the difference, then effectively there was no difference. This was known as the Turing test, and if a chatterbot was actually smart enough to be able to convince you that it was real, then the idea would be that it would be possessing of artificial intelligence. What happened when you were born? Earlier you said you have an IQ that is off the charts. My secretary will send you a bill. And when you're done with Eliza, you can put her away by typing Control X C, and that'll drop you right back to the command prompt. 